it's Miss Ronnie. I wanted to talk a little bit today about Kolova, which I learned about from going to the Orthodox Church. And it's basically boiled wheat. And based on John 12, 24, that says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abideth alone. But if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. So at Orthodox services, when someone has passed on, they make this. And it's with uh, boiled white wheat. I got mine off Amazon. And you cook it, soak it, cook it, drain it so that it's, and pat it dry, so, let it dry so that it's not too liquidy. Mix it with sugar because we're remembering that Christ died for us and rose again. And then to, that makes it possible for us to go into paradise, which is sweet. So there's sugar added to it. It's really, really good. I will say I made it for a recent Serbian because I, we don't have a church, but I'm under the Serbian Archdiocese in our mission. And we had it for a Christmas Slava celebration, which is to commemorate a saint as well. And that is dear St. Seraphim Asurop in here in this church. And we um, celebrated and I made the wheat and you decorate it. And it's got almonds and walnuts and you can make a cross with various things and decorate it. I used a beautiful copper cross I got um, that's, I put cinnamon in for this one, but I used this for the last one. And I decorated raisins, put it with raisins. And so sugar, uh, soft white wheat, and cracker crumbs, and you put that on top with powdered sugar. And often you're remembering someone that you've loved that's passed on, they'll have their initials, and light a candle. Remember them, that Christ is the light of the world, that he died and rose again so that we can have everlasting life. He is, and um, you're remembering that with that person, that they are in eternity, memory eternal. And so we um, use the boiled wheat as a memorial to remember that we die and we raise again as Christ did. And I hope that you're blessed by this. Lord, have mercy.